Hi everybody. Um, it's um, it's Sunday afternoon. We only had one hour of church today. So I went to church and then I came home and then I broke my fast. I don't know what time, probably about noon. So I just wanted to come and talk to you a little bit about my camera is crooked. Hold on. Oh, you want to see Binks? Binks is a cutie. Isn't he cute? He's making the happy sound. Do you hear it? He's a happy kitty. He's not like my Pippa, who is not a very happy kitty. So, I wore my purple dress today. It's a summery dress. It's it's short sleeve and now that I, I can feel that fall is a little bit in the air, now I'm thinking, well, I should have worn more of my, my summer dresses and the purple seemed like a happy color. And I always wear my jean jacket because air conditioning in the summer kills me. So here's an update on Binks. You know, Binks is the stray that showed up, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And he had that wound on his chest and it's all healed up and and good now he's a little sweetie he needs to get I need to go get him neutered still I'm probably gonna do that probably going to do that this week um, so I need to do that and let's see what else has been going on oh yeah okay one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was I took my extensions out I don't know if you even remember. I, I got them in like a year and over a year ago, maybe a year and a half. And I really enjoyed them for the whole time. Hence why I kept them in that long. So it was just one one little strip, one row of of hair. And it went in like, yeah, like, like here and around. And it was the NBR which um, is a pretty uh, pretty nice system for extensions, if you like extensions. Um, they, uh, they just make a little place. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can look up if you're interested in good extensions that don't have any glue and all that, and that are easy to maintain, and they you get to feeling like it's really your hair. Uh, check into NBR if you've got if it's in your budget. The cat is just looking up at the little phone. He's he may attack the phone. I don't know. He's thinking about jumping up to it. Um, anyway, I really enjoyed the NBR, so I took them out because this last time that I went. So you have to go every. Um, I usually went about every eight to ten weeks, and. Because your hair, the amount that your hair grows down, then you have to take them out and then move them back up so that they're not hanging so low. And um, I, the last time I did that, and when she would do that, she would also freshen up my roots if I wanted highlighted roots and all that. So the last time I went and did that, she, um, hold on, I have to watch this dress. Uh, she did that for me and at the end of the appointment when we usually set the time up for the next appointment we both forgot and so i forgot all about it until my I, I started thinking hey it's about time to get my 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 row moved up and i looked on the calendar to see when it was when it was coming up and i realized i hadn't set it and so i called her or texted her and told her that because you have to deal with her personally you can't just call the salon and make an appointment. So I I texted her and told her my predicament and she couldn't get me in until way later than I wanted to get in and it was gonna be at night, which bless her heart, she was willing to come in and do it at night. She is a hard worker, but I told her I don't like to, it's, it's about an hour away and I don't like to drive at night, you know, far away and it makes me nervous and all that by myself and she said well sorry that's all that's all I've got and I understand that she is she does stay booked up so last week I just 
they were hanging so low and and it would make my hair so this is all my hair right here this is how long my hair is well if i'm pulling the back forward because the back gets longer than the sides do but with the extensions ends it, it was maybe like a half inch to an inch longer but it was getting like it's only it was that's when i when it's in the right place it's about the same length as my hair but it was getting so long and it was getting hard to do anything with. And I didn't really want it to be that long. And so anyway, I just had Jeff, I looked up how to remove the the NBR and some people had put some out for last year because people couldn't, you know, the salons were shut down. And so they had some, if you really need to take them out, this is how you do it. And so he did it and he did it really well. And I was really kind of anxious to see um, what my hair looked like without it and if it was damaged and all that and it wasn't it wasn't any, it wasn't any more damaged than it normally is with you know blonde highlights and old hair older hair I'm 53 um, so it and it actually allowed it to grow pretty long here in the back and I think even the sides are a little longer than they normally would be because we never cut it she, I think she dusted the ends once, which, you know, if you know what that means, she, you pull it out and you just get the very, very, very ends and you don't really take off the length. So now I'm in the predicament of finding a new hairdresser and I want to find one here. So I'm tired, I'm tired of that drive because the one that I went to before, who I really, really love, Casey, She's my sweetheart. She's so sweet, and I really enjoyed going and seeing her. But she was also about an hour away. Well, when I say an hour away, it's about an hour and 15 minutes away. And you just get tired of doing that, of having to do that all the time. So I'd like to find somebody local or not too far from here, within 30 minutes in any way. Somebody that is good with doing blonde without frying your hair off and all that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that it didn't, so I've, I've got some other videos out about NBR and stuff, and I really never even, I should have done a video of me styling it, washing it, styling it with them in, but really you just washed and styled your hair just like you normally do. It was pretty nice. So I just wanted to show you, my hair is really thin and fine. It's not really thin. Well, it is. It's kind of thin and fine. But this is what it's looking like, and so if I um, if I put all that in the back, which the way it is the way it did it falls, um, I'm 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 okay. I can work with this. But pretty soon these, this is gonna get crazy, and I'm either gonna have to decide to just let all that grow out, or keep the blind in. And I'm pretty sure I already know I'm gonna keep the blind in because for one thing, it's not even just the color; it's because this this healthy hair here has even less a lot less volume than than the slightly damaged blonde hair ow my knees my knees are getting me anyway i kind of have a headache today too anyway so i wanted to tell you the saga of my hair and why i took my extensions out and i'm i'm pleased that my hair i didn't i was i was i was asking jeff do i have any bald spots or anything where that was and he said no i don't think so i said well i think you'd know if there was a bald spot so uh that was sweet of him i thought about filming that too and then i thought i don't want to do that to jeff you know you don't want to be the weirdo wife making your husband do things that might embarrass him or whatever although i do I do, but I try to minimize it. So anyway, it was so nice of him to do. But he was saying, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? Because he knows, he knows how I am. And I said, yeah, I think so. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? He goes, well, what if it looks horrible? I said, well, I'll, I'll pull it up into a French twist or in a ponytail or a messy bun or something until I can find somebody to deal with it. I'll wear a hat. I'll wear a scarf. I don't know. So, we kind of went into it thinking, oh no, is my real hair going to look horrible when I take it out? And so, it looks good enough. And it's it feels really good. I can just go like this. I can, I don't have to worry about it. And I never had to worry about the other either, but it does feel good to just 
you know, massage your scalp without that strip of hair right there. And like, I was always self-conscious about it. Like if I had, when I had that vertigo that one time, uh, well, the one time, several times I've had vertigo, but the couple times that Samuel's been around, my son Samuel, to help me with it, um, I was real, even in the depths of feeling horrible, I was thinking, oh, I don't want my boy to grab my, because you have to, like if you're helping the person with vertigo, you, you kind of hold their head and you position it in different places to try to get those crystals in your inner ear to get in the right spot. And I thought, oh, I don't want my boy to feel my head and feel those weird things, but you know, he was fine. He didn't care, he's, he's sweetie. Um, so it feels good, it feels good to just be natural. And I was even, I was priming um, Samuel for it one time because he's funny, he's, it would, he wouldn't like it. If I chopped, completely chopped all my hair off and changed my look, He's kind of like me. I don't think he'd like, he doesn't really care for change as much as I, you know, like, like I, like me, I'm the same way. I'm having a hard time talking today. So I even said the day that we made that video when we were, he was playing his guitar and singing. And by the way, that was the first time he, this summer is the first time he's ever sang in front of me. Other than he made a little, um, he, I heard him, he made, for one of his classes in college, I'll get there, I'm circling, I'm circling my topic. So in college, he had an assignment to report on a current event, like an environmental current event or something. I don't, and he he chose the, the a volcano erupting in Mount Cinnabung. And he, he, he chose, they could choose any way to present it. And he chose, he made up a song and he sang it on the piano. And of course you couldn't see, his video just showed his hands playing the piano and you couldn't see him singing it, but he was singing it. That was the first time I ever heard him sing. And I was like, Samuel, you have a nice voice. You need to come sing with me some. And, and he did, and this summer he's finally convinced him to learn, uh, learn a little song. Well, I don't know if I convinced him, but I was glad when he learned that Willie Nelson's. He's really got, he, this has been a Willie Nelson summer for him. He's discovering all the music, you know, other than what normally kids listen to these days. And so, um, I'm getting hot now. Okay, it's gotta go. This is another Bowden dress. This is one that I bought years and years ago, like probably 15 years ago, full price at Bowden. Um, in a catalog, I used to get that catalog. Anyway, so I would say I've gotten my cost per wear out of it. Um, Kim, 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 where were you? So anyway, it's the first time really that we've had a summer where he, I, I heard him singing and playing a lot around the house and I just wanted to get get a little bit of, bit of it on film before he went back to college. Cause it was a it was a big deal to me that he sat and sang with me, and that he learned that he's he. I'm so glad that he's learning the ways of my dad playing the guitar. So he's he's a little he's a little dad, a little pa, and um, it makes me really happy to see that dad's musical talent has carried on, and it just it's just amazing to me. So now they're back at college. Uh, him and Eli, they're they're doing well. They're it's in person classes, which makes them very happy. They have good roommates. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so also um, I went ahead and you know these this wreath I just keep up all the time, and then I take out different things and add to it. And so um, I have added some fall flowers and I've gotten rid of all my old dead and dying um, plants here for fall. So happy fall y'all.